Hi guys, how are you doing? In this video, I'm gonna cover the Paint.net tutorial. So I hope you, you will enjoy this particular uh, video. And if you do enjoy it, hit like button and subscribe to. If you have any questions leave the comment down below and i will try to reply to each and every comment so let us start this tutorial in here i have got this pen.net open the version 4.0.30 this is open source uh, software and it is used to edit the images so when you open this for the first time you will notice that there are there is a toolbox open then color box open then layers are at the right hand side and then history of the actions that you perform are so that is a toolbar for that one as well and you can also move it around over here like that then let us say you want to edit one of the images then what you have to do is just to drag that image and drop it on here so what i'm going to do is just to drag and drop one of the images over there let us say this one or let us take fresh image so this one all you have to do is just to drag and drop it on the pen.net or you can also open it from here so you can either open this as image or you can also add the layer and this layers concept is very important in this pen.net because uh, the layers you can work with multiple images without disturbing other images so i have opened this image now first of all i am gonna re resize this image because it's very huge image Three thousand by say one hundred, eight hundred. Then click on OK. So that is how you can resize the image in the paint.net, and the size will be displayed over here. So right now it is six thousand by four thousand. But after those changes are saved, you can see that uh, now the image has been resized to three thousand and one thousand eight hundred. So that is how you can decrease the size of the image as well. Now next thing that. Uh, I wanted to show you is that you can zoom in and zoom out like this or you can also use the control uh, key press control key and then use the mouse wheel to zoom in or zoom out of the image all right so that thing we have covered now so now let us say you want to remove this background of that image then what you can do is that you can use this magic wand tool to select the portion of the image that you want to delete so all you have to do is just select that uh, magic wand tool and then click on this and what will happen is it will uh, select the portion now since this has got this layer the background layer so always remember that the top layer is always visible and this bottom layer is uh, like beneath that image so as you can see even if i delete that it is showing the white color because of this background so if i delete that it will display the transparent black background over there as you can see it is showing the transparent background now you can use the magic wand to, to delete the uh, similar types of the portion like the portion of the image has, which has got the similar color but uh, you can also delete the portion using this rectangle select tool then this lasso select tool and ellipse ellipse select tool so all these three uh, tools uh, do the same thing like you can select the portion of the image so this using this rectangle select you can select the rectangular portion like this so since it is magic when tool it is already selected uh, first of all you need to click on that uh, tool and then only you can use that tool so you can deselect the tool by clicking on that or the selection and let us say you want to remove the portion of this image in the rectangular form so you can select like that and then you can press delete key to delete that portion similarly you can also delete the portion from here like that in the rectangular form but sometimes we need to delete the portion in the uh, circular form or the ellipse form then you can use this ellipse tool like this and if you want to select the like free form in the free form way then you can use this lasso select tool in which what happens is that you can select the only specific portion like based upon 
the mouse movement so like that you can select the portion so like that you can select now you can see that everything inside this uh, ant moving ant is selected so if you want to delete it you can just delete it by placing the delete key so like that you can delete the portion now uh, the if you want to delete this uh, like color just around this image then what you can do is you can use this image magic vent tool and then click on it and delete it then again click on that so as you can see it is also uh, selecting the actual image that i do not want to delete so you can press the escape key or you can also click on this button to deselect the portion because i do not want to delete that so in that case what you can do like if you want to like remove this portion then you can use this eraser and you can also change the size of the eraser over here from this particular drop down and you can also resize the image so that you can properly delete the portion so like that you can uh, delete that particular uh, section using this tool so next thing that i wanted to show is that uh, this uh, paint bucket like this can be used to fill the portion of the image for example let us say you want to uh, like give the different background then what you can do is that you can select that tool and then pick the color from here so like that you can pick the color there are primary and secondary colors so if you click over here what will happen is that color will be filled entirely so like that you can uh, change the background color of the image as well and this is the paint brush tool in which you can uh, like draw something or so like that you can draw and this is the color picker for example uh, right now it is selected as the red color but if you want to select the color from the image itself like this one then you can use this tool so when i click on that remember that this red color would change as you can see whatever is the color of the that particular section of the image is displayed over there so it is very useful if you want to use the color of the image and this is the pencil just like paintbrush only thing difference is that it is very thin and this clone stamp is used to copy the section of the image for example so this one for that what you have to do is that let us say you want to copy certain portion of the image and paste it somewhere for example i want to copy these glasses and paste it somewhere then what you can do is that click on that tool and then change the brush width let us say 350 and then first of all select the portion by pressing the control key and then clicking on that portion so like that you have to select the portion now to paste it suppose i want you want to paste it over here the same portion like that glasses then you can click over here and as you can see that particular uh, portion is clicked now let us say you want to let's say clone this portion then what you have to do is press ctrl key and then select that by clicking on that image and it is selected so if you want to let say paste that portion over here then just click and that portion will be copied so that is how you can use this clone tool then text tool can is very simple all you have to do is just click on that then select the size then click somewhere where you want to enter the text and you can put your text over there to change the color you can select uh, from here and increase the size from here you can mold it uh, make it italic or you can change the font name etc so all these things are possible over there can also align it like this so that's about the text tool then uh, you can also use the line and curves 
steps so all you have to do is just uh, drag it and since the size is very huge that line is coming like that and these are the, you can see that there are points over there so you can drag those points to make it in the curve format like that so like that whatever you want uh, you can give the size or shape to that and there are various styles like filled arrow rounded arrows etc you can also convert it like that and size can be changed and you can change the horizontal fill or vertical fill etc can do that as well the next thing is you can also use the shapes like squares rectangles etc polygons arrows call outs can also be used tick marks can also be used So if you want to make it say green then you can use this color and over here in the field you can select solid here you can choose uh, if you want to draw the field shape or draw shape outline so I had selected the outline so outline is selected but you can also draw the field shape as well like that so that is how you can use various shapes over there there is a check mark there are symbols lighting bolt then gear button there is, is call outs as well that you can use over there So from here you can move that particular object and then uh, if you want to say rotate it you can whenever this symbol comes this uh, double sided arrows then you can this click on that and then drag it like that to rotate that image and you can also use this uh, color picker to pick the color I already told you then you can also use the gradient you can use the gradient uh, to do it this way and you can see that uh, the gradient is being applied to the entire image so I'm just going to control Z because I do not want that so if whenever you want to apply the gradient all you have to do is first of all select the portion that you want to apply the, the gradient and then only you can use that uh, gradient otherwise it will be applied to the entire image so like that you can apply this gradient and there are various types in that like this one diamond then radial etc like that All right, so that is how you can use that particular thing. Then this map pan uh, particular tool is used for anybody. Uh, the image is very large, like that. So this can be used to pan your image like this using this tool. You can move it like that. So generally, I do not need that because I normally zoom in or zoom out like that and then entire image is in my view so i don't uh, generally do not use this this is used to zoom particular section like this one so this zoom is actually used you can also use it from here the bottom section now this uh, move selection and uh, move selected pixels these are two different things so this move selection is uh, is actually just is used to move the selection it will not uh, change the pixels for example over here when i drag it it is not uh, doing anything like even if i move it like this it is just moving the selection 
but I want to let us say move the select uh, like pixels as well for example whatever is selected in this portion I want to move that then you have to select it first and then click on move selected portion and then you can drag it like that so as you can see that portion has been moved pixels are uh, entirely pixels have been moved so that is how you can use those tools now the layers so you can see that right now there is just one layer so if you want to add multiple layers you can do that as well for that main advantage of using multiple layers is that uh, you can have uh, multiple images in that same image or on the top of which you can uh, actually stack the images for that you can go to layers and then import from file and over there you can select a uh, different image that you want to import So that image has been imported now or here you can see that and since it is on the top of this layer it is being displayed otherwise if uh, this image is uh, this layer is down then it will not be displayed for example if you want to move that down then you can uh, click on this it will move that layer down and you can see that this image is not being displayed because it is hidden, hidden behind this particular image so if you want to get it up you can click on this and then that's how you can move the layers you can also merge the layers or you can also copy the duplicate the layer you can delete the layer so all these options are there you can add new layer by clicking on that now once that uh, particular layer is added you can resize it or whatever operations you want to do you can perform on that so that is how you can resize then rotate whatever you want to do all right so that is how you can work with that layers you can have multiple layers on the images and then next thing that i wanted to show you is that how to uh, like do the adjustments like brightness and uh, contrast how you can do that so first of all deselect this and let us say you want to apply that particular effect to all the entire image then you can use this tools black and white and entire image will be turned into black and white So as you can see this effect is applied to only particular uh, layer so that is the advantage of using layers so if you want to apply that effect to this particular layer as well you can select that layer and then apply that effect otherwise that effect will not be applied or you can also merge these two layers together like that one and now if i apply that effect will be applied to all similarly you can also apply the brightness hue saturation all this effects can be applied then another interesting thing that uh, pen.net allows you to do is you can use these effects uh, like blur effects artistic effects so i will just use some uh, show you some interesting effects like motion blur and all motion blur is being applied I'm just going to cancel it and similarly there are lots of effects like distort you can uh, distort the image abolish the image like that and then you can abolish that image and uh, similar there are uh, many effects that you can try all you have to do is just go here and then uh, there is distortion effects i generally prefer or use these blurs and distort effects also sometimes i use stylize they are very important and then give you a uh, uh, lot of features to like you know edit the images so that is how you can use this pen dot if you have any questions do ask me the questions and i hope you you have enjoyed this particular video if you do so you have uh, you have to subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends and uh, also leave your comment if you have any questions thank you